with Netflix. No! Is it HBO? No! Is it Disney? No! Is it Apple TV? No! Then it must be... Tell them they're streaming. Welcome, everyone. This is the podcast that everybody's talking about. <laughs> Tell them they're streaming. Good mate beside me here. Uh, Brisbane's own uh, comedian extraordinaire. Good looking guy. Likes to wear American Dream t shirts. Richie Goodacre. How are you, mate? Hey. Go, going good, man. Uh, yeah, glad to be back here. Uh, yeah, uh, in my uh, dusty road apparel. And of course, I am Robert Cameron. Oh, oh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I thought you might have yeah, introduced yeah. me there, but don't matter. Oh, uh, sorry. And, and you know, hello, hello. Oh, hey, hey, and you're Robert Cameron. Hey, that's did, Robert eh? Cameron, guys. Thanks. Uh, as Robbie Cameron. All right, Richie. How was your week? Oh yeah, I. Uh, had my nephew's uh, birthday. And oh, then, uh, we heard about this last week. Yes. Yeah. We've so, all been wondering. Yeah. So, yeah, no, that went, went, went very well. I, uh, yeah, I, I mean, I think he liked his present. I, you know, it just cause it was closed. So he's just like, oh, I, I, he looked at it for a bit. I assumed that, that, that you know, he, he gave it his attention for a couple of seconds. That's, that's good enough for me. Uh, Remind yeah. us again, what was it? It's yeah, so, uh, like a yeah, it's sort of like a like a kind of like a old sort of tradies like you know fluoro construct you know. That's right. Of, and it was pink, if I remember rightly. It was pink. It, it was pink because that was the only one in his size. But uh, look, look, he he, I think he'll look good in pink. Uh, he'll he, and uh, yeah, no. So it went, that went it went pretty pretty well. I I am looking forward to like his uh, like you know like you know as he grows up when you have like and yeah, then you have other. Birthday parties, like I remember, I remember, like when I, when I, uh, when I, but early on, you know, in my early years, we'd have, uh, my mum and dad would have like party organizers come and 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 when I was party, and we, I remember there was one time we, uh, we all got, you know, we all got like our faces painted except for like one one kid right who uh, who refused, and I got upset and I, I, I cried, and you know what, I, I I still haven't forgiven that guy. I, I hope. <laughs> Did you get him chucked out of the party? Oh, I want to do, but I still, I still haven't forgiven this day. I, I, I honestly, I, I don't. I, I even forgot your name, but I, I hope he's going through a messy divorce. You honestly, like, you know, <laughs> you, 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 you made, uh, you, you know, you, you upset me, and that, oh, I, and that's all I remember from that birthday. You know, I mean, yeah, but yeah, I, I liked, I like, I liked, uh, you know, when, uh, you know, you, you wouldn't know, like it was always sort of a. So, you know, I wasn't sure what cake I'd get. Like, I think at one point I got like an Ernie cake or a Burt cake and, or like something to do with like Power Rangers. Yeah. So I don't know. And now, now, now as you get older, you're like, oh, can't be bothered having a party. It involves like going out and organizing stuff. Oh, I guess I was just sleeping more. <laughs> that's, 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 a, that's a party to me. Uh, but yeah. Uh, well, you want to let everyone know what, uh, Tell them streaming is all about. Oh yeah, yeah. So each uh, each week uh, we uh, we've got a bunch of movies here on the uh, to uh, on this wheel on the wheel, and each week we'll spin it, and then we uh, we will review it. And they're, yeah, they usually I don't know if you if anyone who knows anything about Tubi, but they're, 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 as well as uh, well-known movies, they've also got uh, so, so, some very strange movies, <laughs> and that's what we're going to be more focusing on. Even though, like, uh, as we'll get into the, the movie we're talking about now, is not that that strange. Actually, it's pretty competently made, uh, but we'll we'll get into it. Um, but yeah, like I sort of think there's stuff to talk about there. Uh, but yeah, so and then yeah, we'll we'll, we'll discuss the, the movie, go you know, talk about memorable scenes, uh, and then yeah, then we'll do you know, uh, you know uh, the trivia portion of the uh, 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 the uh, trivia portion. I like how we've got portions. <laughs> yeah, we've got portions. Like a yeah, it's like a, a 
and just like a, a, a good old meal, and then and, and then and then just top it up with dessert. We'll just spin the wheel, we'll see what, and you can come see what we're gonna what what uh, stuff we'll through next week for your enjoyment. Excellent. Uh, <clears throat> well, let's get on with the movie today, and it is the Man from Earth from two thousand and seven. Um, now I <clears throat> I always look at the synopsis. I looked at the synopsis on Wikipedia, and it pretty much wrote the whole movie from start to finish as okay. a synopsis. It so, does that. <clears throat> so, it does that. <laughs> I left that one out, but Tubi says, when colleagues throw a farewell bash for a retiring professor, the scholar reveals that he's had a stranger, that he had a stranger and far, far longer past than they knew. IMDb, an impromptu, impromptu goodbye party for Professor John Oldman, becomes a mysterious interrogation after the retiring scholar reveals to his colleagues he has a longer and stranger past than they could ever imagine. Uh, it is directed by Richard Schenkman, uh, and he, um, he, he's a writer and director and producer. He has a background in making music videos. Uh, you'll like this one, Richie. You work for Playboy TV. Um, oh, oh, yeah. Uh, his first film was called The um, Pompatus of Love from 1995. He also taught master classes in film and comedy. In 2007, he released And Then it Came Love from 2007, uh, which is a romantic comedy starring Vanessa Williams and Eartha Kitt. Okay. That, in the sounds same... like something... that sounds like something that maybe, <laughs> I don't know, I have, to, I have to look into it, but might, maybe something we, we might watch later. Yes. <laughs> in the same year, he released this film, The Man from Earth. Uh, and he also wrote several popular iOS platform gamers for Tiny Co. Okay. For B Movie Studios, The Asylum, uh, he directed Abraham Lincoln versus Zombies in 2012, which we yeah. have, most of us have heard of that film. Uh, he also wrote children books like The Girl from Atlantis and The Empress's New Shoes. Uh, and the writer of the movie, Jerome uh, Bixby, uh, he, this was his last screenplay, which he wrote back in 1997, and I think he passed away in 1998. Uh, so this was his very last screenplay he ever wrote. Uh, the oh, cast yeah. is David Lee Smith, Tony Todd, John Billingson, Aline Crawford or Ellen Crawford, and Annika Peterson. Uh, so yeah, uh, we'll probably there's, start. There's, all, there's also uh, I think his name's Richard Riley. He's a he's a character actor. It appears in a lot of stuff. The yep, dude, the, cool. The dude, the dude that uh, with the mustache. He, he's in every. He's like in a lot of a lot of stuff. So yeah. Yep. Cool. Uh, uh, lots of other uh, pretty cool cast members as well. Uh, I've got some trivia here, but we can mix it in with our chat. Uh, yep. the, the film is shot by using two Panasonic camcorders, which I thought was interesting. Uh, the director Richard Shankman has always made a cameo in his previous movies. He was meant to appear in this one as well as one of the movers, you know, the movers that move in the furniture. Um, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. But with a bigger workload, he was forced not to do his cameo. Oh. Tony Todd was the first person to be cast for this film. Uh, Richard Shankman has never met the scorer, Mark Hinton Stewart, who lives in the UK. Uh, David Lee Smith, Jerome Bixby, Tony Todd, John Billingsley and Richard uh, Rydell, how do you say his name? I said Riley, but I mean, it's right, right. Richard Riley all have a connection with Star Trek. This is funny because in the film, Tony Todd's character, Dan, says that he is going to go home and watch Star Trek. Um, and there is a sequel called The Man from Holocene. And I was going to look up to see what Holocene meant because I didn't know what it meant. Do you know what Holocene means? I, I I didn't look at what it meant. I I know about the sequel. I, I mean, it sounds like a condiment, but that's not <laughs> <laughs> the man from Source. <laughs> anyway, that's also on Tubi as well. Uh, did you want to hit us off with something about the film, Richie? Yeah, I I mean it 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 does 
it, it feels like a movie that like even though it came out in 2007, it feels like a movie that, that, that was shot during COVID. You know what I mean? Like, it's <laughs> like, because there's no, like, that they don't go anywhere. It's just a, the whole movie is basically a conversation. Yeah. Um, well, I actually thought it looked a bit like how a play would be set out. Yeah. Yeah. So, I mean, that, that was kind of cool in that regard. And yeah, it's just like, I mean, yeah, it, it does sort of throw a lot of concepts at you. And they're like, so you get into that, you know, <laughs> you, you, you sort of, uh, yeah, if, if you're like really to like, this, Theological sort of stuff, um, yeah. Well, well, uh, let's let's not bury the lead. We haven't actually said what this bloke, John Allman, uh, w- what he's told his fellow uh, friends and learned colleagues. All right. Well, yeah. He um, he, he he told them that he is a uh, well that he he was a caveman and that he's. Uh, <laughs> Uh, and that he's uh like yeah like over like over like four thousand years old and then he just sort of keeps sort of you know I guess uh I don't know reincarnating that word I don't know but like he, he you know reinvents it you know it, but uh, he he's in the midst of uh he's he's sort of forced to admit this because he's like he's moving or something and uh, he's moving and then, then like, like every, every oh, ten years he moves. Yeah, yeah. Every ten years he moves, cause, yeah, uh, yeah, and just sort of establishes a new life. But and then that they, they think something's off, so he just tells his story. And uh, yeah, it, 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 I mean, if it was like, <laughs> I feel like if it was like me, other people, I would just be like, yeah, <laughs> I don't know if I'd stick around and go, oh yeah, I, yeah, like yeah, 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 sure. I'd be like, oh yeah, okay, you, you're clearly high. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, <laughs> I'll. I'll, I'll you know, and I'll, I'll uh, message you later or something. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I mean, I, I guess they were intrigued enough. Um, I guess maybe... Well, we didn't more... really know if it was a a story or a... Um, maybe uh, he would make, there was one point we thought he was writing a book and he was getting ideas off everyone about this, you know, 14,000-year-old person that's still alive today. Um, yeah. And also, you know, was it a game? Was he having a game with everyone? So yeah, that was quite interesting. Yeah, and uh, yeah, yeah, like and then I guess they all come from a sort of uh, like a like a science background. So I get you know that the, the, they they would be uh, yeah like I, the you know naturally I think the years would perk up if someone says something like that. So you know you would kind of quiz them on stuff. I feel like a. Tony Todd's character was sort of like, I mean, he, he was, I like this character, but like, it's just one of those things in movies sometimes where it's like, you know, like his whole dialogue is just spitting out like, you know, facts he knows. It's like, <laughs> it's like, like uh, yeah, after a while, you're like, all right, Wikipedia. Shut up. <laughs> oh, he was uh, badass. I liked him in the film. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, by the way, uh, Tony Todd, but for, you know, he's, be- he's best known for being Candyman. Um, He's he's Candyman, and he's also Death in he plays Death in the Final Destination franchise. So that's probably where you've seen him. He's he's the, the, he was such a nice man, though. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I know, I know. He's he's just he, he yeah he, he he seems like you know yeah you know, I, I would love to have, like uh, have a conversation with him, but yeah he's uh yeah like yeah like I don't know why he gets cast in these creepy roles, but uh, yeah. <laughs> I don't know. He plays it well, though. So yeah, but he, uh, you know, he was really good in this. And then yeah, he had a, uh, yeah, like, like uh, we we're talking about him before. Uh, so, we'll, we'll, yeah, well, anyway, William. So you know, he was like he was like the yeah, sort of like his sort of biker looking dude. He was all right. I, I probably the most annoying character was that I, I'll call him the the uh, I don't know like the Peter Griffin looking dude. <laughs> the, uh, Is he the, the comedy uh, relief one? Yeah, um, I would kick him out of a party within five minutes. Like you are annoying, you know. Uh, uh, I guess he was supposed to be annoying, but yeah, like I felt like he—he's just so that, that guy's trying to trying to be cool, but like, you know, not, not just for you know, like he just comes across as like just overbearing. But I guess that that's his character anyway. Um, I thought it was interesting. They had like all the different people, all of his friends had backgrounds in stuff that needed was was good knowledge to have if you're talking to somebody who's from the prehistoric era you know like you had you know somebody who's a ge- geologist you have somebody with religious affairs you know you have a history teacher 
and you've also got an art teacher as well in there sort of thing. So, yeah. <clears throat> yeah. So I, do, I, I, I do have to comment that yeah. the bloke Art, his name was Art and he was an art teacher, I believe. Um, yeah. I found sort of weird. Um, what, like he he was with a student. Is that is that right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I don't know. Like, I, I maybe they explained the background of that. I don't know. Like, if, uh, uh yeah, like maybe he's tutoring her, but yeah, like, I would, I would, I would, <laughs> think, I would think that, like, yeah, like, this is like real, like, you know, like, um, you, you, your eyes are, you, you're my, I, I, you know, you probably, uh, kind of go, oh, that's a bit inappropriate, <laughs> you know, or you, 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 you kind of, yeah, you, you'd raise your eyebrows a little bit, uh, that, like, yeah, like, yeah, I don't know, like, I don't feel like, I, I guess, you know, because I don't know, I feel like she kind of didn't fit the film. <laughs> I, just, mm. I don't know. It's just like, her, her, she, she, it's like her character wasn't given much to do. She's like, oh, no, you can be the, we, 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 need, we need a young person in this, in this, in this group. Uh, but like, because you're, you're a student, naturally, you're not going to be more ignorant to the stuff that we already know. So just mm. sit there, just sit there and we're good. And then, uh, <laughs> yeah, you can talk, you can talk at that, talk at the end. Uh, <laughs> Um, well, there's another character that we actually didn't see, but we heard on the phone called Ellie. Uh, and I did not understand this part at all. So, Richie, you're brainier than I am. You can explain. Why did John <laughs> lie to Ellie about what she got on her test? It was a D and he told her she passed. What relevance did that have with the whole film and, and why, <laughs> why did he do it? I I, I guess maybe like... Like, like it would have been handy if we saw like, we you know like thing movies sometimes you like and that's why I thought like maybe they were just low budget on purpose but like yeah it would, I, it would have been cool if like we heard the you know actual conversation where but we, you did you did a like you just see the one side where it's like yeah <laughs> it's one of these pet movies where like either one side of the phone call but they they never leave enough of a gap between the per- where the person supposedly is going to talk so it's like oh I, oh I, I, and I, so I think I think. The gist is like she was going through something with her family, and like maybe she needed a passing grade, and so he just yeah, and he he looked at the paper, and realized oh, it was a D, and I was like, oh, Eddie, you know, you got, yeah, you know, you got a C plus, I guess, to kind of help her out. I don't know. How's it that going to help her out when she gets the paper back? It's still going to say D. I think that I mean we you know, like it would have been good if like they 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 change it right there and there but like i i assume that that that's the other idea is they they're going to switch it out to a c plus <laughs> fair enough uh, yeah. may i may i say my favorite line from the movie yeah uh edith says cavemen are you going to hit me over the head and drag me to the bedroom and john replies you would be more fun conscious <laughs> <laughs> Which uh, I, I don't know. I don't know if it, like uh, it, it's a funny line. I'm not, I don't know how like how that line would go over in, in a conversation in 2022. But, no. Uh, <laughs> uh, so yeah. I mean, if it, if it works, cool. Yeah, yeah, it's a good <laughs> of course, I mean, Edith was an older woman, uh, and older she woman. was the she was a religious buff as well. So yeah, mm. yeah. I suppose we're. Uh, I, I, one, one thing before I get into the big thing, but like. <laughs> this is some one of the movie. I swear to God, they were at the start. I, oh, well, okay. One, one did, did they have like a, a sponsorship for a uh, Johnny Walker green label or something? I don't they know. It, <laughs> they mentioned it multiple times. Like, oh, green. Oh, well, Johnny Walker. I don't know. There's a thing. I'm like, are you, are they, are they funding this film or? I don't know. <laughs> I, I mean, like, I, I didn't even, like, like you probably didn't know that Johnny Walker green label was a thing. And, and why is that so special? I had no idea. Have you had Johnny Walker before? I'm pretty sure I would have. Yeah, I've had it a few times. So not, not, not really. Uh, it's not really my uh, kind of, uh, uh, you know, um, yeah, my uh, type of poison. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, like I think it's, uh, yeah, uh, I think Dad drinks it sometimes, but yeah, I don't know. Like, I, but I, I guess I, I don't really, I can't really discern like different seen labels. I guess green is pretty, pretty. Pretty good. I don't know. Is that lime or something? I don't know. I don't know. Uh, green makes me think of absinthe. Uh, yeah. You know, the green fairy. And that's not good. Or well, I mean, it is yeah. nowadays because they've taken all the woodworm out and all that sort of stuff. But that made yeah. people go crazy. Yeah. But also, like the thing is, like, this is just a bit minor. Speaking of like green, they're like, uh, 
Yeah, yeah, like, oh, you get, we'll get, we'll get, uh, you know, you want some, uh, oh, do you want any more uh, green label? He's like, I, I, I've only got two plastic cups, is that all right? It's like, yeah, we can make do. And then the next thing, you know, they got multiple, they got way more than two plastic cups. They got like, everyone's got a plastic cup, and it's green. I'm like, <laughs> uh, someone didn't need to check that. And I'm like, yeah. <laughs> but anyway, uh, yeah, so, and, and I feel like it always in, in America, I feel like it's only an American thing where, like, they always drink out of those. Uh, you know, colorful yeah. cups. Like we, no one else does this. In America, just to be honest. We, you know, we we've got white ones here in Australia. I don't think we've got colored ones, do we? No, we don't have colored ones. But like, but even at a party, do you, do you see many people drinking out of like the start? Like they, they usually just drink out of like. I, I think it's just a way to you know because they can't have people drinking out of like a. I don't know. Like you, you like, say if you're drinking a beer, you're drinking outside of a cup. It's just easier to have that than like have a, uh, you know, have the character have a beer. Because you might have to pull out a label or something, hmm. uh, but like, yeah, but I don't know. Like, I but you're at a party, you, you just you, you you either get like a yeah, like a proper cup or a glass or something. You know, hmm. we don't have the, the. I mean, like we do have the striker cups, but they're not like that common. At, <laughs> I feel like they're not that common at parties. But anyway, maybe I haven't been to enough parties. Uh, but yeah, I guess during the lead a little bit. That one big point is that he. Because he reincarnates and stuff throughout the year, he he he. Uh... Well, he doesn't reincarnate. He he just lives. Oh, he just lives. Yeah, oh, no. he he just never he never dies. He's not he's not immortal. He can die, but oh, yeah. he just lives. Um, there, there was the whole weird thing. Sorry to interrupt. Where like apparently he doesn't scar, which I didn't really get. But anyway. Yeah, yeah. I, everything was yeah. <laughs> we'll get to it, but everything was a bit convenient. Uh, but yeah, like the, the, the big plot point is that he uh, talking and then he, he just decides uh, to uh, you know admit to everybody. Oh yeah, by the way, I'm Jesus Christ. Uh, <laughs> um, Did but, they yeah. jump the shark there? That's what I was gonna ask. Did they jump the oh, shark? No, it, it 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 makes it a bit silly. Yeah, it's like and it also it's like very bold um, if you are telling fibs because like like if you're telling fibs, you're like okay. Okay, I'm, I'm gonna tell. I'm gonna, I'm gonna uh, try and convince them. I'm a, I'm a figure from the Bible. Now let's go with the the, the top dog. Let's yeah, the top the dog. Yeah. Guy. Let's go with the main guy. Couldn't he just be yeah. Matthew or something? Yeah, I'm not Matthew. I'm not. I'm. Not, I'm not. Uh, yeah, I'm not, like not Peter. I'm. Oh, hang on. Wasn't there a John? There was a John in the Bible, isn't there? There's a John. Just say a John. Yes. Yeah. But no, he's like no. I I I am I I am. Jesus Christ, and then he starts yeah, explaining about like uh, uh, yeah, uh, yeah, like yeah, what he he, he, he but, didn't he didn't keep, teach Christianity though, he teach Buddhism yeah, as yeah, Jesus yeah. Christ. Yeah, and uh, he 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 said that like the yeah the he was he taught himself like he like he when he was on the cross he taught himself like to you know kind of yeah. You know, to heal and numb, like numb the pain or something, and, and or, or taught, taught, taught his body to heal or something or other. And then, like when he was in the cave, he was able, you know, able to re, re uh, <laughs> kind of. And, like, oh. and then, yeah, like the uh, old lady, can't remember the character's name, but yeah, it, like she, she, she was the only one that's like a massive, like you know, like a massive Christian, and she was like, yeah, Edith, she was like, Edith, Edith, she was like, yeah, appalled by all this. And yeah, um, yeah, and then, yeah, and then so, so yeah, it was like, the, but then they had the whole other conversation, but yeah, I'm just like, I don't know, man, I, yeah, I, <laughs> that, but this, that, 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 pretty weird. that is pretty controversial because, like, uh, basically, he says him being Jesus Christ, um, doesn't die because, um, you know, he went in the cave and and it helped himself get better and then come back out. And everyone thought, he, okay, he's been resurrected. Uh, and this made me think, like, you've seen the film The Last Temptation of Christ yeah. from Martin, Martin Scorsese. Well, that's that's quite similar. Not that that story, but they actually change in that movie. They change exactly what happened to Jesus Christ. And in that movie, Jesus Christ didn't die. He actually kept on living. Uh, but there was a massive uproar by the church and uh, other people of uh, who, who who believe in the proper story of Christ 
Uh, and um, but I, I had, I've tried to find anywhere. Nobody's really said anything about this film, and I thought, geez. Uh, I, I, yeah, I, I feel like there might might be more uproar if it got like a wider release, uh, uh, yeah, or, or something like that, uh, or you know, like it, you know, it, uh, yeah, it, it was more sort of widely like publicized, like you know, yeah. I think anything to do with like religion, you're kind of towing a fine line. I mean, there's mm. always a there's always a famous uh, Kevin Smith example where he he he, he picketed his own film. That was yeah. <laughs> dogma. Uh, so yeah, uh, we've seen enough. Like I I went on uh, Rotten Rotten Tomatoes and I uh, or tomatoes as we should say uh, Australians tomatoes. Uh, and it was like it's actually like a hundred percent on Rotten Tomatoes. I'm like holy shit! And I'm like, but it's based on the five reviews. Oh okay. <laughs> so I was like okay. Yeah, yeah. Um, so te- te- technically, I mean, that's good, but yeah, I, so I don't know how many people actually saw the film, mm. really. So yeah, that would probably be why they they, they can they can get away with certain stuff. But yeah, it is a yeah, it's delicate balance to make, trying to yeah, and especially questioning people's uh, belief systems uh, like that, uh, or or you know what they what they know is sort of you know history. Um, but yeah, uh, it was at some. Um, yeah, it, it, it was weird. I don't know. I, I don't know if it's like totally jumping the shot worthy, but it was definitely like it, it where it got more kind of silly. <laughs> uh, uh, yeah, and then then that there was that like uh, that. I don't know. I thought it was a weird a point where uh, you know, so Richard Riley, who's, who's in a lot of uh, actors, in a lot of stuff, like he he. He, he's one of those character actors. You like you see his face, like oh, you from everything. Um, uh, he, he's like in, I think he's in Lethal Weapon Four. He's in a few other things, yeah, um, a few a few other things. But uh, yeah, like he gets really frustrated at his at him and he, like pulls a gun on him, mm. uh, and then what? Well, then, then it was like found out that like, his what his, his wife or something passed away the day like, before. The day before. Mm. Um, what do you lead with that? What do you walk into? Oh, hi everyone! I'm not doing real well. Uh, Betty just passed away yesterday. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm going to wait until I almost, you know, I, 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 I it looks like I'm going to murder someone. To admit, mm. oh, actually, I'm a bit, I'm a bit not on the right in the head at the moment. <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah. I actually, I actually thought the concept and the way they did it was all very good because I mean, it was. <clears throat> It was all in that one set in that that sort of house. There's a few bits and pieces outside, um, but mostly it was all part of that one set. And it reminded me of, you know, movies like uh, Hitchcock with um, Lifeboat and Rope and stuff like that, where it's all centered in the one place. So I thought yeah. it was very clever. Uh, I liked the storytelling of this bloke saying to everybody, oh, this is the first time I'm going to do it, which he lied because he actually had done it before, um, that he is that old he was a prehistoric man he was a caveman uh so actually th- overall i thought it was really well done go about yourself yeah i i i, I really i really liked it i, I it's uh, definitely not for everybody especially if you you know you know if you're like thinking oh that's a movie about a caveman oh there's, like, oh, there's gonna be like a lot of you know but there's gonna be like a lot of action or you know like not even not even like you know like sometimes when people tell stories you, you know you'll see like you know, like the visual aids, you know what I mean? Like, you know, of like, like flashbacks or something. Mm. Uh, so, so, yeah, you don't have to go into it knowing, oh, like it's just, yeah. If you, if you, but if you like, you like well written dialogue heavy, you know, movies that, quite, you know, that, that have that pose a lot of uh, uh, philosophical and theological questions, uh, you know, enjoy it. And then, like, yeah, it wasn't like, uh, like I, I, I've seen some movies sort of similar to this where I, I've sort of checked out. Um, but yeah, like the, the, this did keep me, even though I think it did get silly with the, um, you know, the whole Jesus subplot. <laughs> uh, the, uh, uh, yeah, it, it did it definitely uh, wasn't boring and kept, kept me engaged. So yeah, I I, I, I did enjoy it. Um, which, I mean, which is good that I enjoyed, I enjoyed something, but also like uh, I mean, don't expect uh, <laughs> don't expect a lot, lot of like in, in, you know like. Asked to watch actual a lot of actual good movies as an outlier. Um. <laughs> now we want to get into the the more salty, more sort of cheap 
more more weird, more cult following movies on Tubi. So we'll be doing a lot of that. Um, before we finish up uh, about the movie, we've decided not to spoil the very ending. Uh, can I ask you, though, without spoiling it, what did you think of that ending? I mean, yeah, it's, I guess it, you know, leaves you, quest, you know, I didn't mind it. Like, I, like, Did you get a wow moment or was it, oh, yeah, I knew that was coming? Uh, I, I, I sort of, sort of knew it was coming a bit. but then, What? But then, I call bullshit. No, you didn't know that was coming, did you? What that? No, 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 no. Or, am <laughs> I, or am I just silly? Because I never got that. I never knew that was coming. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, it, but that still also leaves stuff open ended too. Because I, so I was like, oh, they're going to make it. So if you're watching it, you're like, oh, okay, they're going to do a uh, do, do a sequel, and they, <laughs> I mean, they do a sequel. But like, so this came out in 2007. Uh, sequel comes out in 2018. So yeah. they did a sequel <laughs> like 11 years later. Uh, and the sequel's a lot different. It's more more feels like a proper movie where you go from scene to scene. Uh, you know, you see them driving in a car. Um, yeah. You know, they're teenagers in it. That's you know, one goes a little bit crazy. Blah blah blah. Without any spoiling. Um, but there's there's a few of that team come back. Of course, John himself. Uh, Art comes back, and the bloke that you found annoying comes back as well. And they have like little bits of cameo throughout the film as well. Okay, yeah, um, but yeah, so yeah, it's. It, I, I would say the, the, the ending's interesting. I'll say that. <laughs> <laughs> Did you like I, the I, ending? That's what I'm asking. Uh, yeah, yeah, uh, I think I like the ending. Yeah, um, I, 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 I like the ending. I thought it was pretty cool, apart from something else we can't say, which was a bit sad, but you know, <laughs> maybe that, I just gave that away. Oops. Um, <laughs> let's start the podcast again. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> Uh, what do you give it? What's your Tubi score and your normal score? Tubi score, honestly, like if we're going to rate that bad movies, it'll probably probably be on the lower end of the Tubi score because it's like not the you know, uh, like yeah, like you know, the idea is that like so you know people probably watch like so bad it's good movies. This is not it's just a good movie. So probably on the low, on the low, on the Tubi score, I'll go on the lower end, maybe a two. But on like if I'm just judging it as just a general movie, I'd give it three and a half. Well, I, I split both that. I've just given both three out of five, Tubi uh, score and normal score. Because, yeah, it was that sort of movie. But it did feel cheap as well, which is we like. Yeah. Yeah. All right, it's quiz time. Uh, we've got... Yay! A- Yay! Um, oh, love those funky moves, boy. <laughs> you uh, You move like an Australian. Um, all right, because this film had a prehistoric sort of thing, like you know, the, the bloke was prehistoric, uh, and blah blah blah. So, I've gone back and I've looked at some prehistoric films or, or people from prehistoric times or films from that era, well, you know what I mean, uh, uh, to do with that era and blah blah blah. And it's got some questions, so I think we can all enjoy this. The first question I have. Is ten thousand BC from two thousand and eight? Which New Zealand actor played Tick Tick in this film? Was it A. Timuera Morrison? Was it B. Cliff Curtis? Was it C. Martin Henderson? Or was it D. Carl Urban? Something long between B and D. Uh, the 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 they're the actors that work that they work more than the other two. Mm. Uh, so I'll go Carl Urban. Carl Urban, who's a great actor. I, I love Carl Urban. Uh, incorrect. Do you want another go before I? It, it is. Cl- is it Cliff Curtis? It is Cliff Curtis. <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah. Plays Tick Tick in the film Ten Thousand BC from two thousand and eight. <laughs> the second film. Uh, now this is a very well big drama, big fan, a big film. Uh, you know, people flock to see this film because of its historical truth about prehistoric time. It's the Flintstones from 1994. I want to know what the name of the sequel in the year 2000 was. Was it A, 
the Flintstones is leaving Rock Vegas? Was it B, the Flintstones Viva Rock Vegas? Was it C, the Flintstones in Fear and Loathing in Rock Vegas? <laughs> uh, was it D, the Flintstones in Meet Me in Rock Vegas? <laughs> I actually know this because it's moved to guilty pleasure. It's uh, Flintstones in Viva Rock Vegas. It is the Flintstones in Viva Rock Vegas from the year 2000. Also, you want to know trivia? Uh, uh, Christian Stewart, a, nine, a nine-year-old Christian Stewart's in this movie. <laughs> oh, I didn't know that. <laughs> um, so the next film is One Million Years B.C., from 1966 what i want to know is what the tagline for this film is is it a who will survive when two tribes go to war is it b cavemen crave cave women is it c dinosaurs and men fight to the death or is it d men and monsters battle to rule the earth What was what, what, what did you say B was again? Cave men crave cave women. I'm actually going to go with D. Men and monsters battle for to rule the earth. Yeah, correct. <laughs> okay, but I, I I was I thought it was so funny when I came up with cave women. Sorry, cave men crave cave, cave men. women. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you, didn't even, you didn't even smile. <laughs> <laughs> but, but, I don't know. I think, like, even if I did smile, like, like I, I don't know. I, 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 I look, look, here you go. I'm smiling. Thanks, mate. You're a friend. Number four. Uh, question number four is Caveman from 1981. Which Beatles star is in this film? Is it A, John Lennon? P, Paul McCartney? Did I say P? I meant B, Paul McCartney? <laughs> C, or G, George Harrison? Or D, Ringo Starr? I'm going to go to Ringo Starr. He's been in a couple of movies. Well, they've all been in a couple of movies. So you're going to oh, go... I but, I know, but I know Ringo Starr's been in movies without the other two, So without the other group. So I'll say Ringo Starr. Uh, Ringo Starr is the correct answer. Yeah. Okay, question number five. The Clan of the Cave Bear from 1986. I want to know which Quentin Tarantino actor was the star of this film was it a uma thurman b daryl hannah c amanda Plummer, or d pam greer it feels like i don't know why i just think that's so like good but it feels like something daryl hannah will do so i'll go daryl hannah what 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 how do you do this you do this all the time you get answers right <laughs> i don't know it's, a, it's like i I'm good at trivia, but I'm not good at trivia. You know what I mean? Yeah, it's like, like a superpower you have. <laughs> Don't use it for evil. Yeah. Uh, number six. Question number six. The Quest for Fire in 1981. What language is this film in? A, there is no language. B, English. C, French. Or D, Italian. Uh, probably not English, otherwise it wouldn't be that as a, like a, you know, yeah, that unique of a question. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm not, not having to go at your questions there, but you know, I'm just, I guess no, if, it's, no, I'm... if it's not, if it's English, it, that would be uh, a pretty ba- basic. So I, I, I don't go there. Yeah, but no... maybe, maybe that's what I'm doing. I'm throwing you yeah. to you, think, you... oh, I'm going to pick the, the, the less likelier one. That that could be a possibility, but I don't think that's what's happening here. So I'm going to go. There. <laughs> I, 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 I'm going to I'm going to go. There is no language. Uh incorrect. Damn it. Well, you're sort of correct, but you don't get the points. Half a point. Yeah. Half a point. Uh, all right, I'll give you half a point. Uh, Yay! The answer is French because at the very beginning of the film, it's a Canadian film, uh, and or French Canadian, uh, and at the beginning of the film. There's a written text at the beginning, and that's all in French. So I've gone okay. with French. But apart from that, there's no language. So half a point. Okay. Question number seven. Encino Man from 1992. In some countries, what is this film title called? Is it A, Ice Man, B, Pool Man, 
C, California man, or D, prehistoric man? <laughs> I mean, I don't think uh, Ice Man wouldn't make sense. Uh, Why? Sometime... He, he was in Ice? I guess so. so, so, so some of these titles don't even make sense. Uh, and where, um... did they, where did they find him? They found him in a pool, yeah. like in the, when they're digging a pool? I will, I, I'll say prehistoric man. D prehistoric man, yeah, incorrect. Yeah, man. you want another go? California man. The answer is California man. Oh, that's what I was. I was thinking about doing that. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, question number eight. Iceman. This is actually a proper movie now. Iceman from nineteen eighty four. Which Australian director directed this film? Is it A. Peter Weir? Is it B. Fred Skepsky? Is it C. George Miller, or is it D, Philip Noyce? I'm going to go A. Peter Weir? Yeah. Incorrect. Uh, Philip Noyce. Incorrect. <laughs> George Miller. Incorrect. Uh, yeah, okay, is that, is the, the other one then. Fred Shrepsky. Yeah. He's a great <laughs> filmmaker. Um, yeah. Number nine. Number nine. The question number nine in Iga from 1962, which Bond villain was part of this film? Was it Eric Goldfinger, played by Gert Froby? Uh, now, of course, it's the actor that's part of it. <laughs> the Bond villain doesn't make an appearance. Yeah, I, I was going to ask for clarification there as to why a, a, someone <laughs> playing a Bond character would be in this film. Yes. No, no. It's the actor of the, the Bond villain. But anyway, <laughs> yeah. uh, Eric, Gold, uh, uh, Eric Goldfinger, played by Gert Forb. Ernest Starbo Blofeld, played by Donald Pleasance. Odd Job, played by Harold Sakata. Or Jaws, played by Richard Keel. I'm going to go oddball. Uh, it is an oddball. No uh, choice. Uh, it is an oddball. Uh, uh, um, Blowfield. Blowfield. Blowfield, which was Donald Pleasance. No, it wasn't Blowfield. So you've got Goldfinger or Jaws left. <laughs> Goldfinger. It wasn't Gert Forb. It was Jaws, Richard <laughs> Keel. Okay. Uh, yeah. Final question. Alpha yeah. from 2018. Yeah. Which Australian actor plays Keita in the main role of this film? Is it A, Jason Clark? Do you know who it is already? No. Oh, okay. I'm, I'm, think, I'm, thinking, I, I'm thinking about, I, I know the film is, you know, not, not that well. Is it A, Jason Clark? Is it B, Cody Smith McPhee? Is it C, Vince Colosimo? Or is it D, Matt Day? Is it Cody Smith McPhee? It is Cody Smith McPhee. Yeah. Excellent. That was fun. Well done. You got majority of them right. So, yeah. a bit of fun. Yeah. 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 Pat yourself on the back, mate. Yeah. So oh, now yeah. it's time for the Wheel of Chubby Cheese. <laughs> the Wheel of Chubby Cheese. Cool. Cheese, mate. Yeah. So talk yeah. amongst yourselves while you're getting it ready. Because, of course, like last week, you're already prepared. Yeah, you're definitely, 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 well, yeah, definitely prepared. <laughs> this is going to be my, my shtick now where, you know, they're definitely <laughs> just going to have to. Sport, sports bet's going to put on things. Is, is it this week Richie is ready for the it's wheel ready. of Chuby Cheese? Or is he not? Put your money on now. Put your money on now, and you'll find out. Uh, and the answer will be no. Uh, hang on. Do, 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 do. Uh, hang on. What is your favorite prehistoric film? And I'm asking not just Richie, but everybody out there. Let us know. Tell them, Steve, Dave. Uh, what's your email address? Tell them Steve Dave at gmail.com. Uh, yeah, 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 that, yeah, that is T E L L E M. Did I say Steve Dave? You did. I, I'm really sorry to the, Kev, uh, to, uh, the people <laughs> that do tell them Steve Dave, which uh, is the two Bryce and Walt. 
Uh, yeah. Tell them they're streaming. So it's T E L L E M T H Y R E streaming dot uh, dot Google dot com and dot, gmail. dot, G, dot gmail.com. Uh, gmail dot com uh, at gmail dot com. Yeah, and you know if you're listening oh. uh, and you, you, you've got some suggestions, um, yeah, uh, feel free. Feel free to suggest them, and we'll put them on the wheel in future episodes. Uh, just so, just to recap: we've got a uh, thriller, uh, western. Action, comedy. Uh, I've got also got a slot called Try Again, which you know we could get it, you get it in those, not, another spin. Is that uh, a, is that a really fun thing that we can do? Try Again, or is that because somebody doesn't know how to delete something? Well, we're waiting to peek behind the curtain. Uh, <laughs> it's probably <laughs> it's, it's that that uh, cool. Um, anyway, we got anyway, we got drama, <laughs> drama uh, horror, martial arts. Try again, <laughs> sci-fi <laughs> fantasy, and try again. <laughs> uh, so yeah, look, it was my way of improvising because I, I technology hates me. <laughs> I don't uh, think it does. I think it loves you. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah. Anyway, let, let's give it a go. And we're going now. Yay! Spinny, 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 spin. 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 Drama. Drama. Okay. So what do we have for drama? Uh, there's not much stuff again. <laughs> uh, yeah. uh, we've got... Drama. We've got Hide Out in the Sun. The psychedelic priest, or sex and a single lady. Hello. <laughs> All righty, Coolio. Uh-huh. This is exciting. Yeah. Here we go. You can do the spinny spinny thing this time. You didn't hear me, did you? Spinny spinny thing. Yeah, oh, you're, you're supposed to go spinny 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 while it's. Well, it's spinning, and and we got to spin again because it went weird. Oh, okay. Anyway, live, live, uh, yeah. Technology. I told you it doesn't like it. Anyway, let's go again. That that was that was a tester. Yeah. All right. Here we go. Spin, yeah. spin, yay! Yeah, spin, 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 spin. Oh yeah, spin, spin, spin. We are going to pay a visit to the psychedelic priest. Whoa. Okay, I'll quickly check if it's there. The how do you spell psychedelic? Yeah, uh, it's in front of you, mate. It, 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 yeah, I know. Uh, the P S Y C C H E. Oh, it's there. Cool. It is there. Um. All right, hang on a mo. Let's go and see what it says. A priest experiences a life-changing acid trip and ditches the church for the wide open road in this groovy grindhouse flick unreleased for 30 years. Uh, uh, Directed by Stuart uh, Muriel and William Grah, uh, starring John Darrell, Carolyn Hall, Joe Crane and Ken Ketcher. Cool. Well, that should be that should be fun. Uh, good old, you know what? Uh, you know, it's been a while since I've seen a a, a pre psychedelic movie. Yeah. So it's gonna oh, it's gonna be fun, I reckon. Bit, bit of grindhouse. We haven't we haven't done a grindhouse one yet. Well, I guess we have because Bruce Bruceploitation would be grindhouse. Yeah, it'd be fitting within grindhouse. But look, it'd be it's good it's good to delve into the world of psychedelics. Uh, are the, you are you going to partake in anything while watching it, Richie? Uh, look, I, I, Remember, I, it's still illegal in Australia. <laughs> yeah, I, I know. We have to fly uh, over to America to do that. <laughs> fly over to America to do that. Just that, then, yeah. I probably my commentary on it uh, might, you know, just be like, oh yeah, there was a lot of, yeah, a lot of pretty colours, and then, uh, yeah, and you know, I'll be like, oh yeah, 
I love the I love the like the the, the dinosaur in it. You're like, there, there wasn't any dinosaur. Oh, well, <laughs> I don't know. I watched a different movie apparently. Uh, uh, have you got anything you want to promote or give a yell out to? Yeah, uh, you can. Yeah, you can find me on uh, the uh, Movie Hero Network. It's called. Uh, yeah, I, I do a show called Tiaranka. Uh, I'm a guest on uh, Tiaranka and uh, show called Tournament Fights. Um, and I also on that on that channel I do a wrestling podcast with uh, Woo! With, with my friends uh, 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 Jordan, Jordan Owens, Jacob Barber, and Austin Pezhal. Uh, it's called The Lonely Marks. And uh, before yeah. you go on, I've got an idea. How about each week, whatever T-shirt you're wearing, you've got to do an impression of. <laughs> uh. Okay, some so, people are gonna. I'm trying, I'm gonna have like a distinct voice, but yeah, we'll go. But can I, you, I, I can do that. I can do that. Uh, yes, the American yes, dream. Yes, Debo. And then, and then you, you, you can also, you can also uh, uh, find me at my my, my I can't do it. And my Facebook page, baby. You can find my page on my Facebook baby. Uh, it's uh, Richie Goodacre. And just uh, and you can see what I, what I'm performing around this baby. Uh, yeah, if you will. Uh, and what, uh, what 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 job did your dad have? You're oh, a son, yeah. you're a son of a son of a plumber, baby. Someone who's a son of a plumber. Uh, oh, what so... did he used to say? Like whenever he's talking about stuff under the ring. Uh yeah, uh, plunder, uh, plunder, plunder. Baby. Uh, plunder. <laughs> yeah. Oh, what a great man! Sadly lost, sadly passed away a number of years ago now. But yes, yeah, such a great entertainment. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, you keep your eyes out for that, and uh, yeah, uh, I guess uh, until next time. To be continued. <laughs>